and uh, for you comfortable seat that can be on a chair or on the floor or a meditation pillow make sure that your spine is straight and we'll begin with a little introduction to what does it mean to meditate welcome everyone and it doesn't matter if you have prior experiences in practicing meditation or physical asana and it really also doesn't matter what style you have chosen because as for me I have been practicing for almost 30 years all kinds of approaches to meditate, various styles of physical asana. And personally, I think every single style and every approach is useful to my personal practice. So before we um, start with very simple exercises, I like to explain that the state of uh, dhyana, the state of meditation, actually occurs by itself. That is the state of bliss, of thoughtlessness, being completely detached from any disturbing um, inside or outside approaches. What we actually doing is trying to still our mind. And this is the act of concentration, dharan, or written out dharana. And this is what most yogis are doing throughout their entire journey to reach the state of dhyana, of meditation. So maybe knowing this makes it less daunting to get, jump onto the train and practice concentration. So there are various approaches and my number one approach, if someone is very restless or has no idea where to begin, my first recommendation is the old fashioned candle. This is something that helps truly to calm your mind and truly draws the in intention to focus. So I will show you how to do this. So the intention to focus seems something very so simple, but when we really sitting down and trying to collect our mind to stare at one item, it already becomes more difficult. Okay, so I will pull forward a chair. And as you can see here, that candle is almost perfectly aligned with my eyesight. So ideally it should be a little higher, but this is perfectly fine. And instead of, um, instead of uh, having my timer on my clock, I'm again going for an old fashioned um, sand clock. And I'm gonna place this down here just for me as an indication. So if you can stare with me together, at the candlelight for several minutes. That will be our first um, exercise today. And just try to sit upright as much as you somehow can. As for now, we're gonna put a little bit less uh, attention to our posture. We really trying to focus the mind, having the eyes staring Forward. So this is called trishti. Trishti in Sanskrit refers to the point of focus. And this is how we begin to still our mind. Okay, 
Okay, let's light that candle. Okay, the candle is lit and I'm going to run my sand clock. Let's keep the eyes still. Really looking into that candle. slowly begin to deepen in your breath by concentrating our eyes toward the light. Automatically we begin to observe our breath, trying to hold that light without moving the eyes. Inhaling deeply into our belly. Feeling the rib cage lifting and then very slowly descending the breath. You might experience slight burning in your eyes. You might see colors changing. Just keep the point of focus toward the light. Body is very still. The act of collecting the thought Projecting everything toward the light. your eyes and relax the posture. Okay. Okay. You can open your eyes and just relax here a little bit. So I blew out the candle and so that would be my first attempt, especially also for children. You can use a plastic candle that doesn't have um, dangerous fire to it. And just focus your mind, your concentration toward the light. So that would be number one exercise that I always recommend. So number two, and we can leave the table here for a while is referred as to object meditation. Now I spent a great deal of time practicing Zen meditation, which is one of the most challenging 
meditation to your physical body and you get slapped in the back on your shoulder when your posture is collapsing and um, it is truly challenging because you're keeping your eyes one tens one nines open and as well you're staring at a point of focus in front of you so zen meditation is probably the last that i recommend to begin with but what i always recommend is do not close your eyes the minute you try to attempt to concentrate to collect thought with the eyes closed your mind is starting to become extremely creative and it will pull out situations um, things that might happen things that did happen and it's going to be like a roller coaster so therefore i highly highly recommend you to choose an object and my object number one choice is descent clock why because it will give you inevitably a little bit indication of time so the the mantra here the the word of uh, focus might be just time or sand so in the same way as you're finding the trishti the point of focus staring at the sand moving the mantra the verbal repetition in your mind to calm your mind could be sand or time okay so Come back to your comfortable position, sit up straight and by now we are already realizing that the conscious breath is occurring because we are trying to concentrate so kindly on that object that your breath is following. Sometimes it might be that we are holding the breath in this uh, sense, just leave it be and you will find that your breath is adjusting to what you're doing okay let's begin exhale to begin and i'm gonna turn around descend the clock your eyes begin to burn now close your eyes gently and then see that image of the sand clock before your eyes now inhale deeply keep the eyes shut and then 
and exhale deeply. And then inhale. And on your ex exhale, see the sand traveling down. And then inhale again. And exhale, see the sand again running down your clock. And inhale one more time. And the rest of the sand is traveling down. And you find stillness in between the eyebrows drawing the intention to the space and in between your eyebrows, the pineal gland, the sixth chakra, the eyes that looks beyond, relax the facial muscles. Gently blink your eyes open. Okay, you can relax the posture. I'm gonna remove the table. Okay. So what you're really doing is trying to build a staircase. So just when you decide the next time it is time for me to meditate, tell yourself, rather than trying to jump toward bliss, try to tell yourself, it is time for me to sit with a spine elongated so you can see here, I'm sitting in rock pose of your rasana. And this is my favorite pose to attempt this, this, the state of concentration Daran, because sitting on my sitting bones truly, truly helps me to elongate from the root chakra, Muladhara, through Manipura all the way up. And you can place your right hand here into your left palm and have your thumbs slightly touching. And then just slightly arch the lower back, very slightly. And that will help you to open up the Anahata, your heart center and spread your chest open so you're receptive and the arc line is widening and in the same way just see how this makes you already feel and in the same way the shoulders rolling gently up and back and relaxing and then you keep the spine the cervical spine very nice and long and just here Move your chin toward your chest and then look at the point ahead in front of you. So for me, in, in my case now, I am looking at the tip of the leaf. And from here, I will go into my journey of conscious breathing. So this is breath control. So let's begin, like from your normal breath now, exhale, and as you exhale, very consciously squeeze your belly bottom area back. So we're engaging what is called the diaphragm lock, Uddiyana Band. And then 
inhale and exhale. Okay, let's begin. Slightly squeeze Mulat band, so the sexual organs squeezing together as if you're attending a Kegel exercise. And then we're beginning to inhale. Pausing on top. And then you tell yourself, exhale. Squeezing Uddiyana Bandha in. And then inhaling. Pausing on top, exhaling. Keep your trishti, keep your point of focus. Just concentrate the eyes on a single object in front of you. Concentrate your mind on the verbal word inhale. Exhale. Keep your eyes open. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And now close your eyes. Now go in your own cycle. Verbally chant to yourself, inhale. When you inhale, exhale as you exhale. And then watch your thought and realize the moment that you are drifting away. The moment that you're drifting away, pull your mind back and start over again. So let's begin. I'm watching the clock for us. Three minutes, silently repeating the mantra, inhaling, exhaling. You are the observer of your mind and of your thought. is like a puppy trying to run away. Pull it back on its leash, telling it to inhale as the word inhale is traveling on the breath all the way up from your root chakra and leaving through the ground chakra. And then on the word exhale, 
Draw the leg all the way back from the top of your head into the earth and then pausing there and beginning again it's inhalation traveling up and it's exhalation traveling down very well done please open your eyes and relax the posture very well done okay you can relax here a little bit So I'm going to go through a little bit more of introduction to different approaches to calming the mind because this is all we do in these exercises. I often think there has been a great mistake throughout the last, especially the last decade of social media that we talk about meditation and everybody is so desperately trying to squeeze their eyes and compress their thoughts and run away from their thoughts that we really need to point out and start calling it the practice of concentration the practice of concentration doesn't require you to uh, practice an hour of asana or dress up in a certain way the practice of concentration can be done at any time at any place by anyone so even sitting on the breakfast table and choosing a moment of stillness and just concentrating the eyes on your cup of coffee or your cup of tea, whatever you choose to have, can benefit, your mind can benefit because what you're doing at that moment, you're deciding to focus your thought on that cup of coffee. And you can look into it, you can look in to the deep color of black or if you have tea, whatever it is, you look into the green of your matcha or you look into the brown of your breakfast tea and you really stare into it and you don't move your eyes and you find a calming breath and you will see one, two, three minutes will center your nervous system. It will help you to Find that start into a day that might be full of challenging situations or stress and it will really help you to find a little bit of a commitment every morning. You can do the same with sitting in the park and focusing, for example, on a fountain of water. So whatever that trishti, again, trishti is the point of focus. Whatever the point of focus may be, it is the practice, the art of collecting thoughts and pointing it in one direction, helping that constant wave to calm so there are there is a, another meditation technique that i used to use for a long time especially the years i spent in india traveling back and forth i studied a lot of different approaches and one of them would be um, sitting at the gangas in Varanasi or Banaras and just sitting with a little bit of a head cover and really sitting there just observing, observing 
the people taking their bath, observing how the people that have left their physical bodies being cremated, um, observing daily life happening. And in some point, I would just close my eyes. Still, that what my physical eyes witnessed and saw would be playing over and over again in the area of my pineal gland, the third eye center, the eye that looks beyond. And what really helped me is concentrating by putting the tongue lightly behind the upper teeth. So the tip of your tongue goes lightly behind the upper teeth. I always encourage my students to slightly unlock your lips and your teeth and then really elongate through the spine and then tuck your chin very slightly into that what is called Jalada Bandha, your neck lock. So all these locks helping us to conceal energy while we're meditating. So there is a root lock, a um, abdominal lock, and there is the neck lock. And then I would just sit there and again, just concentrating, rolling the eyes up and looking into that space between the eyes and still seeing what happened on that river banks and that helped me to look over to the water that ever flowing never standing still water and this is how i practiced to shut my eyes maybe leave a little bit light in but really this is my first attempt to really being able to shut my eyes and seeing myself still as that meditator sitting at the Ganges and observing, observing life and death at equal times. And then I would begin to deepening my breath. I start to relax through the facial muscles the top, the crown of my head is covered, which gives me extra protection. And there is nothing that can come into my space, into my energetic magnetic field. So the people that would pass by recognize that I am in a different space right now. And I can fully detach from the outside world. Now let's begin. See yourself sitting near a river. See yourself as a meditator elongating your spine, you're relaxing all parts of your body and then you're finding your breath and the breath is conscious here. The point of focus is your breath yet your eyes staring at the current, at the water Mantra and Yantra combining.
waters are only flowing in one direction. So if your mind is drifting away, stare back at the water flowing only in one direction, forward. At this point you might find you're getting restless. This is okay. If you're finding your physical posture is the factor of disturbance, you can just choose very slowly to change the seat, change the crossing of your legs, And work out the kinks that hold you back to keep the mind focused on your breath or on that river that is floating, flowing. slowly you can begin to deepen in your breath now and blink your eyes open and relax your posture okay I'm getting a little cold so just stretch yourself out move your physical body you can stretch out so in all different uh, yoga styles we always come back to the most natural position the fetus pose or child pose balasana or gurpanam whatever it is named this is the most essential of all yoga poses and this is how we develop in our mother's womb take a moment here breathe deeply again connect here Breathing in and breathing out through your nose. Feeling the breath traveling, expanding, spreading out as you inhale. And exhaling. And then you can reach your arms forward, stretch a little bit here, and then come up. So there is one more meditation, one of my 
timeless favorites a meditation that uh, comes from the Tibetan lineage of Tibetan meditation and it's a meditation that is very helpful when we are suffering so suffering can come from different places it can be physical suffering it can be a suffering of loss suffering of um being in situations and no matter what i always uh, practice the tonglen meditation when i feel my mind cannot slip away so uh, what i'm doing here i'm consciously inhaling that what is paining me that what is making me suffer that what is making me angry that what is making me hurt and i'm really allowing myself to embrace that feeling of pain that might sound a little bit daunting as well but it is truly proved to work or has worked on millions so my favorite position to sit would be placing my right hand and really pushing it a little bit toward my force chakra my anahata chakra and then applying a little bit pressure here and depending on what it is so unfortunately in recent years in the past three years a lot of people that have been close to me or close to others have passed away and it is a process it is a long process to deal with this kind of loss and we know when someone passes away that is not reversible anything else can be reversed the loss of your home the loss of um, something you like um, a boyfriend everything can be reversed you can find new love again you can build a house but when someone dies that is permanent and often we find ourselves in a situation that we have a difficult time to comprehend and therefore we would sit and really breathe in that sadness so whatever it is that makes you hurt, hurting or being in pain on your inhalation you breathe in that sadness that what is destroying you that what is paining you that what is making you feel desperate and then on the out breath we are breathing out liberation we are breathing out letting go we are breathing out steps toward happiness and we are knowing that we are not alone so there are thousands and millions of people in that very moment that feel the same so with every breath in you are not only breathing in your pain we are breathing in everyone's pain and we are breathing out that what gives us a piece of hope a piece of kindness and we are knowing that we are all connected it can be 
the thought of a golden chain, as the Kundalini literature teaches us, or that can be just the wave that expands and we are finding that what is collective. So the vibration in your Tonglen meditation is reaching others in the universe. So let's take a few minutes here and we are concentrated on our own pain. Okay, let's begin. Inhale and exhale. Inhale that pain and exhale, release. Inhale that deep suffering you experience. And exhale, relief. Inhale that anger. And exhale that letting go. Inhale that frustration. And exhale encouragement. Inhale that dark light. And exhale brightness. Inhale that what is daunting, that what you might call depression. And then exhale that hope, that happiness. Letting the mind really embrace feelings that hurt us and then allowing the mind to embrace feelings that envelop us with warmth. Inhale that destruction and exhale creation. Inhale that desperation and exhale. Hope peace, encouragement. Inhale, allow that verbal point of focus to travel up into your midbrain, embracing it in a moment of stillness and then exhale And really embrace knowing that there is a renewing with every time you breathe in. With every second that we step forward, every minute, every hour of your day. And then let a little pause occur on the exhalation, allowing it to leave your body, your mind, and then begin the inhalation again. Now really pull everything, everything together, seeing it as if you were collecting all this negativity, all the negativity, pull it up now. See it as a ball of dark light traveling up, bringing it up, reaching up, and letting it 
leave your body and then transforming into a ball of light as you exhale. There is no healing, no cleansing without dusting and collecting the dirt and mud. So always keep this in mind. You need to scratch all that is used energy, collect it, breathe it in, let it out, and then you can take a new fresh breath in and you will feel renewed. Okay, release the posture now. So there are a lot of different visualizations. Um, in the practice of Tonglang meditation, we really try to breathe in deeply to that sadness, everything that is distracting us, everything that is holding us back, we're breathing it in and then it is leaving our body and we feel on the out breath that there is already a step forward into the light. Now, to finish that little introduction, little, we are almost by one hour, I like to do a little bit of an aura cleanser. So come to sit in a comfortable position and we are going to breathe with long deep breathing or if you're familiar with the breath of fire you can breathe a little faster by using your abdominal strength pulling the belly slightly back on the exhalation and then naturally occurs an inhalation and we will move the arms up and down. Okay. Okay, let's begin. Long deep breathing or the breath of fire. Take your arms up, inhale, connect your thumbs, hold your breath out, squeeze Mulat Band and slightly pull back Udiyana Band. And then exhale. 
And then just keep your eyes closed, tuck your chin. Open the palm of your left hand, place it onto your thigh. And then place your right palm into your left, your thumbs slightly touching. And for the next few minutes, just choose one point of focus and one technique to be still and focus your mind. yourself back to your thought whatever you chose don't allow your mind to drift away roll the eyes up looking inward and slightly up choose your point of focus it can be just verbally saying inhale exhale or repeating a word or maybe looking at a picture in your mind. Daran, Darana, the act of concentration, collecting thoughts to a single point of focus. As a stairway, a staircase, an elevator up, to the state of meditation, Dayan, Dayana. 